Hey there, Fletch Maltings Overlanding here, and today I'm going to be talking about this 400 watt portable solar panel from Renogy. Now, if you're looking for solar, I'm sure you've heard of the brand Renogy. They've been around for a long time. I've had a number of their solar panels on multiple of my vehicles. They've always been great. So when I saw they had a 400 watt portable foldable solar panel, I thought it was a great option. I wanted to check it out. So again, I'm going to kind of walk you through this today. I'm going to show you all the features of it and everything. I'm going to talk you through specs, dimensions, the weight, all that good stuff. So if you're thinking about something like this, hopefully I get you the information that you need to be able to make a decision on whether this one's right for you. So let's dive into the Renogy 400 watt folding portable solar panel. Alright guys, so as I mentioned today, I'm going to be talking about this Renogy 400 watt portable solar panel. This thing is really nice. I love the, the custom bag that it comes with. It's got this big pocket on the front here. Now this is empty, so there's nothing actually in here. But if you had, you know, certain cords or adapters or anything like that, like depending on your power bank, you may need different sorts of adapters or you, know, you might want some extension cords or something like that. If you're planning to kind of keep the solar panel away from the device that you're charging or the battery, let's say a house battery that you have in your truck, like mine is back there in that black case, um, then you can, you know, put extra cords and things like that adapters in here, which is just a nice feature that they add in there. I'm going to kind of set this thing down here. So as you can see, the solar panel actually has built-in handles, so I love that. So if you didn't want to mess with the cover, let's just say that you put this inside of an SUV or something, and you didn't want to mess with the cover, you can still carry it with the handles. They just kind of pop out through this hole. Of course, if you do want to use it, easy peasy, you got it there. You do just unzip this here. And I kind of just take this out, and I'm just going to show it to you as I un unwrap it here. So this does sort of go around the handles there. Now, again, I feel like I'm harping on the fact that it's a Renogy product, but I've had really, really good luck with Renogy stuff over the years. And uh, so, again, there are a lot of no-name, sort of unheard of brands of solar panels and solar accessories and uh, batteries, life before batteries, things like that. But, again, the, the fact that this is a Renogy product makes me feel really good about it from a long-term perspective. I will throw the dimensions up on the screen here. This is a four panel system, so it's gonna fold out into four separate panels. And you can kind of see the cords here connecting, which I like, they're, they're really well made. I like that they've used little grommets, little rubber grommets around here to keep it from you know, scratching and things like that. And then it's got these nice hinges and these corner protectors on it, which are the Renogy Blue, which I like. Um, one really nice thing, again, about this being a Renogy product, though, is it, it comes with a three-year warranty, and you can also purchase an additional two years of warranty at an additional cost. And then they also do a 10-year, 80% power delivery warranty. So basically, they guarantee that within 10 years, it's still going to be delivering at least 80% of its max uh, possible power delivery, which is, is just, again, they're basically saying, look, these things aren't going to deteriorate, right? These are good quality panels. You don't have to worry about them falling apart. Now, another thing to mention about this is that it is IP67 waterproof rated. So again, if you put this out and then overnight it starts raining, you don't have to worry about them. If you get dew on them, if you know you wake up and they're sitting in a puddle, it's okay. They're super, super hardy and uh, well-made. Now, one thing to mention is that this full system weighs just over 30 pounds. So it's not exactly light, but it's also not nearly as heavy as I expected based on the size. And uh, again, the power output, the fact that it'll put out 400 watts, is really nice. Now, one nice thing to point out is you're gonna notice here as I tilt this, right? These basically come apart here, and I'll show you that in a second. But when they were designing this thing, they were really smart about it, and they actually included magnets in the frame. So like, I can feel the magnetic force here in the corners behind these plastic corner protectors. There's a magnet in there that kind of holds it together. So again, if you didn't have the cover on, you were just kind of carrying it around, you don't have to worry about them flopping around like a lot of these. So as far as the solar panels themselves, they are a monocrystalline composition, which is, you know, the highest efficiency style of solar panels that you can have. So then when you open it up, you can see it has these really nice metal kickstands. Now, a lot of these, I feel like, have like some sort of like a weird sort of cloth kickstand or... You know, something that's kind of flimsy, these have this really nice metal kickstand that has a stopper in here so that it'll only go to like a 45 degree angle. 
um, which makes it just really easy to set up. And then one thing that I really like is that it has MC4 connectors on it. So this is like your standard solar panel connections. Now, a lot of these, again, have some sort of weird barrel plugs and things like that, and you have to make sure that they work with yours. Whereas with this, you could literally just hook this thing up to anything that will receive MC4 plugs. I'll put some links in the description down below to some MC4 converters. There are a ton of them, right? So you could take this MC4 uh, plug, have a, a matching set that then would go out to a barrel plug that matches your battery bank of choice or however you need it to be converted. All right, so that will do it for the Renogy 400 watt solar panel. Hopefully that was helpful for you and got you the information that you were looking for if you're considering something like this. It is a little bit of a pricey piece of gear, but it is often on sale. So really 400 watts for under 500 bucks is a pretty good deal, especially considering that it's portable and it's from a company like Renogy, which again, I've had a long term, I mean, I've had a solar panel that has been out 24 seven on the top of one of my trucks for five years and it still works great. Now, the fact that it comes with a five year warranty and a 10 year 80% delivery of power warranty is another just big benefit. And the fact that it's IP67 waterproof is another awesome factor too. So again, hopefully that was helpful for you. There will be a link to this in the description down below if you want to pick one up for yourself or check out more of the specs and details on it. Also in the description below will be links to all my social channels as well as my website where I've got funny overlanding camping themed patches and stickers, things like don't burn your wiener and it's a hot dog or I hate people so I camp. So if you're looking for stuff like that to decorate your rig or put on your headliner in your truck or on your fridge, definitely check those out. Also below this video is a join button. That's just kind of a passive way to support the channel, get you early access to the videos so you don't have to wait for them to come out. I generally schedule these out, you know, two to four weeks in advance. So it gets you early access to the videos and some other cool perks. But if you want a more active way to be involved with the channel, there is also a link to my Patreon group where we've got a 24 seven discord. We all kind of chat about our rigs and our gear and ask questions, it's a ton of fun. Uh, once a month we do a Zoom call, just kind of hang out and drink a beer and, and chat. And then we're trying to get together once or twice a year. And we actually have one coming up here in February, early February where we're all going to try and get together for some snow wheeling. So if that sounds good for you, if you want to be more involved with all things overlanding, check out the link to the Patreon. And then last but not least, there's a link to the Newbie Overlanders Facebook group. Now this group's totally free to join. So if you're looking for a place that doesn't allow bullying, that's not as negative as the other big groups, this may be a good place for you and we'd love to have you. But again, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.